Hi guys, I told you I'd make a town video in Franklin, North Carolina, and here I am um, in the lobby of the Microtel here in Franklin. Um, so if you hear the ice machine crackling in the background, it's just because I am sitting near it because I thought this would be like the best place to make a video. I got into Franklin from Rock Gap Shelter at probably about 2 yesterday just because I woke up very late, like I was the last one leaving camp, which was kind of eerie. Usually I've been kind of on the early side of leaving camp, so it was a little weird um, being like the last one and having just it totally deserted, but it was kind of nice in a way. I kind of just took my time in the morning and got all my stuff together, and it didn't rain the night before last, so it was nice and cool, and my sleeping bag dried out a little bit. When I posted my last video, I noticed that a lot of the comments were like, don't give up and don't get discouraged. And I just want to let you know that I'm very happy and I'm not discouraged by the bad weather. Um, just that it was a little difficult there for a couple days. But I mean, I haven't even th been thinking, even when I was spending the night, even when I was spending the night in my super wet sleeping bag, I wasn't thinking, like, I want to quit. I was just thinking, I want to get up really early tomorrow so I can get out of camp because it's so cold and uncomfortable. And maybe I can make, um, maybe I can make it to my next destination earlier so that I can kind of dry out my sleeping bag. Yesterday I stayed at the Budget Inn Hostel, and it was okay. I... I'm glad though that I'm at this microtel just because it's basically like the lap of luxury compared to basic hiker accommodations, which I guess is to be expected, but actually having like a really comfortable bed with sheets on it and a nice warm shower and stuff like that is really nice. And we heard something about bed bugs. I don't know if that's true, but I just wanted to kind of have a little bit nicer night tonight. So there's a church in Franklin, I think it's First Baptist, that gives a free pancake breakfast to hikers um, every morning. And so this morning I decided to take a zero because my knee is still pretty bruised up and it doesn't look good. It's kind of swollen and I might have like an effusion. So I just decided to stay in town for another day. Also, it's like raining and as I've been talking about with my tent, um, I've been having a little trouble with it in the rain. Someone told me that I just need to pitch it lower and that will make a difference. Like I need to make the trekking pole lower when I'm pitching it and like put the stakes in further. So I'm going to try it the next time it's raining. Like I'll try whatever I can. Um, but I think I'm going to end up ordering a new tent. I just need to um, commit to one tent. So it's, we'll see. In the next like couple hours, I guess I'm going to have to make a decision be if I'm going to get it by the Smokies. Right now we're having trouble with the Smokies website being down for buying through hiker passes. So um, I heard that you don't have to print it out if you are like, I heard you don't have to print it out if you have sufficient ID, which is fine, but I'd like to get my permit now just so that I have it and don't have to worry about it later and don't have to worry about getting Wi-Fi because, you know, it's been difficult getting Wi-Fi. Like, uploading videos has actually been kind of difficult, and that's why I haven't had my first week. I have a ton of videos that are on my verb, but I'm having trouble transferring them, so I'm just using my phone now for now as a kind of a vlogging thing, but yeah, it's... Um, it's just not something that I want to have to deal with as an obstacle, so. Anyway, it's been a pretty relaxed day. I went to Wendy's for lunch, and then I ate at Fats for dinner. And I was impressed because when I was walking with my pack across town to get from um, the hiker hostel to this microtel, someone, like, I didn't, hitchhiker, I wasn't going to try to hitchhike, but someone just stopped to pick us up and um, to take us here, like volunteered, said, do you need a ride, like some really nice person, so it was real much appreciated, it saved about 40 minutes of walking, which was great, um, I mean, it's pretty easy walking on the streets, but still, it's like heavy, and I have a bunch of extra food right now, because I, I know that's something that beginning hikers always mess up and I've definitely been doing it. I've been buying like resupplies that I think are three to five days, but actually I don't eat 
like most of the food. So I have all these pasta sides left over, all these rice sides, um, some of the Idahoan mashed potatoes, like especially dinners. It seems like my lunches, which are like a tortilla and string cheese or peanut butter or honey, peanut butter and honey, um, those all last about what I expect they will, which is like three to five days. But for my dinners, I always, I never eat as much as I think I'm going to. And then I just have all this stuff left over. And so now it's getting to be kind of a problem because I have all these um, extra meals that, and then I keep buying more of my favorites. So I'm probably going to end up having to put stuff in the hiker box or maybe ship it forward. I haven't decided yet, but probably, or maybe give it to my friends. I'll ask if they need any. Anyway, I guess I'm just making this video just to let you know that I'm, like, not discouraged after the last video. Maybe you think that I feel like I want to stop or to quit, but I don't at all. I feel really psyched to be this far into the trail, like, 5% done. That's doesn't seem like a lot, but it actually has felt like quite a bit, and it's been a huge accomplishment, and I've been learning a lot as I go, um, and I think that as I continue to move on like I'm meeting amazing people I've already made several like really awesome friends here and I'm having a great time and um, don't feel discouraged at all and I feel really empowered by being able to be out here and be independent like this and have the strength to do it and to have pursued something like this which I mean I've always been afraid to kind of follow what I want to do secretly but like you know, I'm afraid to pursue it because it's a risk. And I think that in terms of risks that I've taken, this has been a really positive um, jumping off so far. Like, I've had very few negative experiences, really, in the trail so far. No one has been creepy, which is amazing. Uh, just a couple mildly annoying people. But honestly, like, people are so nice and so willing to... Um, go out of their way for you and be friendly to you and you form bonds that you feel like you know people for a lot longer than you do and it wouldn't happen that way in other places but it's just kind of how the trail works I guess it's really cool and it's really unique and it's the most mutually supportive community that I've ever been a part of which is huge